Hello, I'm Mr. Gigabytes, and this is Gigabytes Technology. What we're doing today is on one of my last videos, the video that we, where we made the composite video cable, I discovered there were other problems with the uh, with my Commodore 64, in particular with the video. It related back to a frequency crystal, uh, the Channel 3 frequency crystal specifically, and possibly the VIC-2, and possibly it needs a recap. The original plan was to repair the board, get it all nice and wonderfully functioning, and pull it out and replace it with the individual computer's C64 Reloaded Mark II. One of the things that is different about the Mark II Reloaded is that it uses a 12-volt power supply. I picked one out. It needs about one amp of power unless you're going to use like a, uh, a super CPU uh, with it or anything like that. The power supply that I picked out that I really like, that looks like a uh, Commodore power supply. This is a, uh, it says it's a 12 volt DC, one amp tip positive, which is exactly what we need to run our, our Mark, Mark II Reloaded. However, there's a problem. So we're gonna take our multimeter here plug that into the end so positive and positive lead goes here negative lead goes here i'm getting a voltage reading of 15 and a half volts so i double checked it with a couple of others and they read the same thing we're getting 15 volts off this power supply which means this power supply is no good this one isn't as nifty but it'll get the job done it is also a 12 volt one amp power supply but it's got an exceptionally long cord, and uh, that's kind of a good compromise for me. So we'll set that aside for now, because right now we need to get into the nitty-gritty of it. Pull this Commodore board out. Now this is the same Commodore that uh, I redid the, uh, the keys on the keyboard with. Uh, so you, you've seen this in one or two other videos. So we'll just put this up, put this aside for now. Right now, let's uh, get to get to the task of removing this board. Now, of course, I made that, that composite video cable. The Mark II already has an eight pin cable, so I can actually use my eight pin on this new board. Uh, what, it, what it might surprise you to know that I can also, I should be able to use the, the five pin cable that I made as well. This whole thing lifts out just like that. It's still got the original shield here. There are a lot of fingerprints all over this, uh, all over the bottom of this shield. I'm guessing that maybe it has been taken out once or twice before. I'm going to get a couple of static bags and let's wrap this up. There we go. That, uh, that fits like a glove. Let's take a look at the individual computer C64 Mach 2. Mark II Reloaded. So here it is. Now one thing I'm, I, I note immediately is that we're probably going to want the, uh, uh, the panel here off of the other motherboard. Just have to pull it out just a little bit. It's just a couple of screws. So let's pull this off here for a second. Now the holes will line up very nicely here. Now on a bread bin this old, because this is such a uh, this is a shorter board, I am not a hundred percent sure if I'm going to have anything supporting it on this front side. These are uh, very small feet for uh, devices, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to mark the location of the holes. And uh, it, you may not be able to tell on the camera, but I've got three little marks there. So uh, at each of those mounting locations, I'm going to put one of these little feet. Pretty much right there. That's where where we want where we want the height to be. 
All right, let's go ahead and get these screwed down. I'll start with the middle. These are uh, zero insertion force sockets, otherwise known as ZIF sockets. When the when the levers are flipped up, they're ready to receive those those chips. Between PolyPlay and individual computers, I've got all of the chips that I need. So what I've got here, I've got a SID 8580. I just went with the standard uh, uh, chip. I didn't go with a wind SID or an arm SID or anything like that. This one from PolyPlay, I believe. This is one of the CIA chips, 6526A. I believe this is the other CIA chip here. Oh, nope, this is 8500, which is the CPU, 6526, which is the other CIA. And this is the 8562R4, which is the uh, VIC-2 chip. Now, all told, this is the Commodore 64 Reloaded Mark II is almost uh, almost $200. I spent almost another, well, 80-ish dollars on chips to popul populate the board. So this is a rather expensive upgrade. The notch on these chips goes toward the lever side of the uh, socket. And it just drops in like that. You lever it down, it grabs the pins, and now we've got a socketed chip. The power LED is right here. And I can see a problem already. Keyboard connector is right here. So I'll just plug that in real quick. Now let's see if we can uh, a little RF choke on here, a little knot. We might be able to tease out a little bit of a uh, little extra cable there. And it looks like, yep, we are going to get it to reach. So there we go. So we undid the knot in that cable where the uh, where the little RF choke is. We'll move this RF choke all the way down to the connector so it's not touching anything. Before we get too far, let's give this a shot. We got the two different cables. This is the one I made, and it's just a composite video out. And this is one that I have and this of course is the eight pin connector uh, this should fit very nicely into the back and sure enough it does but i'm not going to use the pre-made cable not right away at least because we know this is going to work this should be the same and this should be able to plug in to our connector here and sure enough it's a nice fit so we're going to use this cable to connect to a composite out to the TV. Moment of truth time. And there it is. We have the basic Commodore basic screen up. Excellent. Well, let's try a couple of things here. I've got a Starfighter joystick here. And yeah, let's take a look at Jupiter Lander which is sort of the universal uh, test cartridge. Already I can tell this is a lot better than the, than it used to be. We're good as new, so. But that's all for now, and thanks for watching. I am not going to run this with my brand new uh, Mark II Reloaded.